Kings uh, in the quarter finals. Alam mo, parehong tema nila eh. Parang, nasa sa inyo. Gusto niyo makinig. Yun ang kinasabi ng mga coaches. Um, I think today they'll bring it to the table. They know how important this game is. Yes, of course. Kung baga, uh, to them, this is uh, bigger than the championship eh. I guess. So, stay nga lang. Stay nga lang ito yes. eh. And uh, nobody, and I'm sure Kagayan being the defending champions, they don't want to just fade out of the tournament, lalo na yung quarterfinals. Ano tingin mo? Okay, let's take a macro view, Ivy. Ano ang naging problema, let's say, ng Kagayan? Ano ang mga struggles nila? Well, I'm probably, I think, what, if we're talking about yung uh, major difference maybe on how they performed this year to last year, I would say one is yung consistency, Sepe. Uh, in terms of attacks, you know, there, there are moments na talaga nakikita natin yung nagkakaroon na sunod-sunod na error ng Kagayan. Uh, Oh, yes. you know, and that usually hurts them a lot. Saka may tulala moment sila. Yung, oh, oh. Ano, walang makabot sa bola, which is the case also sometimes with the Air Force. They'll play so well and then suddenly won't play that well as we get going with our first set. Anong importante rito? Makauna ka! Ateneo likes to chase. Yeah. So, itong dalawang team. But for both of these teams, I think uh, the, it's more advantageous kung maunahan nila eh. Uh-huh. You know, but... Huwag nila isipin yung three sets, three sets. Yeah, that's right. Manalo lang, ano? Basta manalo lang. And, you know, these are, as, as we mentioned, uh, most of the players na naglalaro dito are veterans, experienced. So, I think it doesn't matter mauna ka, mahuli ka. But, again, there's just this advantage, psychological advantage, pag ikaw yung nauuni. Yeah. That's what we will take a track of as this game progresses. This looks like a UST practice with Ortiz, uh, Maizo, the Makulangan, and a lot of more of them here in this game. Passes. Pineda, Kulit, Perminabol, Aabot. Pina Umabot. You know, and I think what's interesting also in uh, in this new matchup natin ngayon, ano? Uh, Kagayas as a team ranks second in terms of blocking, so medyo that uh, Air Force is a bit far off in terms of that. But uh, ang Air, ang Kagayas naman, uh, Air, sorry, Air Force ranks second in terms of blocking, and Kagayas is a fall short in terms okay. of that as a team. Pero when it comes to defense, naman receive and digging, nandun naman sa itaas ng Kagayas. So, they will somehow upset each other's advantages. And don't forget, if it's fun family pizza, it's got to be Shakey's. Let's go with the serve of Yulalio. May makulangan. Passes. Pinalo. Of course, the lefty Maizo. Advantage to the game. Oh, na matay sa tubig yung attack niya. 4-1. Bagan lamang ng kagayan. And you know, for for these two teams, actually, like this most especially for Cagayan, you know, it has been Isa Maizo who's been uh, doing the legwork for the for the Lady Rising Sun. Maka affect din ba sa Cagayan? Last year, kasi nung nanalo sila sa team, they had two imports. Eh. It, you know, I think in any team that has all, it had an effect, you know, and uh, we all know that the Cagayan was able to get very good uh, import in the last uh, tournament. In the meantime, it is 4-1 already. As we remind you that Axel is the... It should be 5-1. Yes, it is. Axel is our official outfitter here in the Shakey's meeting. Our scoreboard was ahead and correct compared to the scoreboard here. Early lead back again. It is in the ni uh, Ivy. And Caballero is caught. And it's 6-1. The team blocking is in the mong kaya kaya ng Caballero. Watch this. Caballero, a oh, very solid block from Isa Maizo. And then a sidestep, you know. Oh. Very simple. But that's what you put work ah, in, right? Yung, yung pala yun, ano? Key pala sa blocking. It's like jumping up and down, ano? 6-1 ang bilang natin. Too close to the net. Topic delivers it in. Goes off the block. So, at, at this point, you know, Air Force should really be uh, very smart with their plays. Kasi kailangan malamangan nila or malagpasan nila yung malalakas na blockers nito. Kagaya you have Pao Seriano at the front guy, you know, and Pao Seriano, as we know, she's uh, there also on top of the rankings sa mga best blockers dito sa ating uh, tournament. Smart to the point, mga kulang na kayo dyan. Well, yeah, you need a win today. Sa panahon ng Tagunan, iwasan ng Dengue, Lion Tiger, katao lang gamitin, proudly Philippine made. Pwede ba akong gawa ng plug sa panahon ng traffic? Lion Tiger, 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 Lion
<laughs> Pwede ba yun? Oo, oh, ako oh, sana. Kaila, <laughs> kailangan ko yan, sis. Ikaw? Oo, oh, oh, kailangan, kailangan ko yan. But, cool ka nga eh. Buti ko, hindi na hindi ka. Samantala, tinulugan sa butas. 7-3 ang bilang natin. Good performance so far here from uh, Team Bagayan. And Marciano is uh, really stepping up for the Rising Suns early on here in this match. Ang gusto ni Coach Ness Pamilar at uh, nararamdaman ko yun. Gusto niya si Marciano makakos din ng malakas. Kasi minsan si Marciano kasi ganda ng pisa tapos mawawala uh -huh. sa dulo. Pantina will make do. Pinas! Sa kamila! Oh, so we ano? Sa kamila! Lost oh, malakas outside. I think, you know, I had an idea kung anong gusto gawin ni Judy Caballese. Uh, eh. Wala, kinulang lang. And then to talk to both coaches. And uh, you know what? They share the same mission without question. It is, of course, to win today's game. But what else I found uh, common with both coaches is the fact that they've uh, brought in their team today. At ang sinabi nga nila, they, uh, they really motivated them at sinabi nila, play with no pressure in today's game. And uh, all they expect to see is their team playing with focus and to show their game as veterans. Particularly for Coach Ness, after all their losses, the expectation is to see the right mindset for the girls and for them to display their mental toughness as a veteran team should have. Seven Ivy? You know, that's so good, uh, a report. You know, all you need is to take one win para matanggal yung mga agaw-agaw na. Samantala, ano ang tawag ni Mr. Pajarino? The death violation Net. error called up against Pao Soriano. And then, two teams have to kasi serve kung totoo siya. These are seniors, these are veterans. So, you're not, you know, there, there's not really much talk anymore about this Yeah, game. I guess so. It's all in sa puso at sa kaisip. Yes, in the meantime, there's uh, an overreach call against Kagayan. And 9-5. Alam mo, hindi rin na-expect na itong dalawang to. No, gumanon yung atin na yan. No, manalo sunod yes, sa atin na yan. Yes, that's right. Bigla sila na-pressure eh. May kasa ang official ball na Shakey's Big Game. In the meantime, Pantina oh. with almost a block but not so. And you know, that win, yung mga consecutive wins ng atin, you actually hurt, you know, the standings of the team. No, it, 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 it dislodged the team. Yeah, exactly. They didn't expect atin na to have to win all their games in the quarterfinals. In the meantime, Pantino. Nice to be back. Ang galing talaga si Sheila Pineda as a libero. Tapik. Oy, nice to be back. Excellent angle chosen by Tapik. Tapik is one of the Lady Aguilas from Davao that we met in the first conference taking care of business there. Tapik is as good eyes actually. Good eyes in spotting the angles. Yes. Good eyes in spotting the angles. 6-10 ang bilang natin. Let's go with her serve. C. Ito. Papi ba yun ang defense ito? Pantino, nilumagad! Oh, Pantino! That was an excellent hit from Pantino. Pantino getting a starting line-up call on several locations. Got a good gallop. Ah, single coverage. Akala nila hindi sila masasaktan. Nasunod sila ron. 7-10. Topic will serve again. Here comes C. Oh, nice to have a lot of people. Oh, nice to have a lot of people. Keep out on Pantino. Recycling the offense. Balik ni Pao. It's in the air. C. Oh, nice to have a lot of people. Pakala ko ito to sa kabila. Yung mga ganyan talaga, you know, skill setters, very sneaky setters. Yan yung mga talent na pinuo ni Coach Ness Pabilar. And we all know Coach Ness is one of the best setters also in his time. At saka, alam mo, maliit na litrato lang yan sa kanto ng mata ginagawa. <laughs> Samantala, eto na si Balmaceda, ginawang toss kay Pantino. Soriano, si Sakabala! Vargas! Is there a touch? Oh, uh, yes, there was a touch. So, a touch from the Libero of Air Force. So, the point is awarded to Cagayan. Again, let's just remind our viewers, Cagayan would make life very simple. Red set win. Uh, actually, both teams are looking for that, but you can't expect that with the quality of these two teams. Oh, that's on the floor! Michael Ortiz with their signature running hit. Oh, signature, well said. You know it's coming, but can't do much about it. It's 8-12 as uh, Patino will serve. Don't forget, it's one family pizza time. It's got to be shaky.
with her own version of that running kit. The brand of Kumin Sana, hindi mo kailang tusok na tusok. Yeah. All you need is uh, find a good spot, put it there where nobody is, and it's now 13 days in favor of the, uh, the, the Rising Suns. Let's go with the serve of Rosemary Vargas. Trying to get back into shape, into form, classes. Oh, good defense from Pineda. No career, eh? <laughs> no career. Let's walk the block in the day and his head 14 8. I think probably we can say talaga coach Ness has a good eye on, you know, uh, converting people. Oh, kalahin mo. Sabihan ba naman si Sheila Pineda, ikaw maglibero ha? Ikaw maglibero. Makinig tayo kay Clarence. Ang ginagawa natin, kung mo-offer tayo doon ng ganong kanina, magagaling silang dumipin ka. Diba? E di kaya handa-handa natin. Para tayo na ipag-spike ni Sheila, di mo pwedeng diinan natin na munda yung kuti natin. Diinan muna natin yung bola natin. Or teenage, watch how this was done. Ooh, and yun yung check kanina na pinag-uusapan. 14-8 ang bilang natin. Vargas continues to serve. You can sense a bit of frustration already and look, Coach Clarence very, very early on in this match. So, siguro yung nakikita niya kasi na ginagalaw at performance ng team niya is not what he actually expected for a very crucial game. Pagka veteran, pagka galing mga player niya, bibitin siya. Oo, lumaalog-alog yung net. Ortiz, aha! Yan ang uh, pader ng USD for the longest time for this miser and they're on opposite sides today. Sa panahon ng Tagulan, ni Wazir and Dengue, lying pader ka talaga ng proud of the Philippine name. Magpunta kay Rea de Makulangan, who was the setter for Ortiz and Miser for a very long time. It's in the air. C. Marciano is blocked. C will be sighted. Well, you know the man, good team, or you see down. Referee said uh, uh, na, 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 na daw, so... Sige, I did. Mean, yeah, so, it was, this is actually the second time that Giselle C pulled off at this play. And nakikita naman ng Air Force, eh. they can see that the ball uh, is going to their direction. Pero they just, they're just too late to react. Good point. Parang bang, you know, it's like that tsunami or a strong, strong, strong surge. In the meantime, they get a break with a surge that goes long. It's 15, 10 years. In the first set, we will have Ortiz all set to serve. If we go to four sets, we're going to share with Malone's of course, for a computation. Yeah. Our uh, stats guy. That's right. So, they need to be able to compete. I said, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Oh, so... Ah, alam mo, pag one set all, obvious mo, po four sets, ano? Yeah. So, siguro, pag doon palang medyo nagsisimula nung mag-ano, mag-addition si si Sherwin. Gula si Ai! Si Maizo short. Medyo kinulang ng konti, si Ai sa Maizo. I think she was already eyeing the open spot. Wala pa siyang contact doon sa ball. So, it's 12-15, a streak of three straight points for the Air Spikers. Si! Hello, everybody, and for my teammates. Good evening, yeah. Ayn Samaizo scoring the 16 points for the Lady Rising Sun. And that brings us to the technical... Tangan, you have to go around it. Saka yung ganda ng pag-breakdown niya. Pagka open, umaatras na kayo. Di ba, hindi pa nasisip? Ganda na. So, counting is on the meantime, Tamayo Jeho, also from USD, gets a point off the block to make it 16-13 here in the opening set. Keep in mind, a um, important battle between these two sides. So many consequences, so many possibilities, at least three. In the air we go. Aizo. Ah. Excellent hit from Aizo. Aizo. And uh, the Steelers. Just out of reach there. I'm using the 
ang Air Force dalawa din ba yung ginagamit nila? It's a good, good, good luxury for uh, Air Force, di ba? So, if they can rest off their liberos and they have op options, we came to someone's not to attain well for the day. Si Jennifer Manzano sees action for the first time today. Pinabot, pinalo, ni Tape. Ang set kaya? Oo, oh, oh, pasok! Once again, a little problem with the defense here for Air Force. So there we go. We can see Vargas with that cross court hit. Kung tutusin, mataas din naman eh. You know, yung, yung, yung palo ni Vargas, hindi naman masyadong tusok. Pwede yung mablock actually. Yeah. Pwede rin naman pwesto ha. So I guess there's just this concern na pinapoint out ni Cody Tarrant dito sa Air Force. Yung positioning yung pattern. Well, he needs another time out. Huh? Wonder what else new he's going to say here. the job. You go into it, you know it's going to happen. There are days like this. In the meantime, let's see if Air Force can snap out of it. And then, if we would also, if you, uh, over the time out, no, sabi rin ni Coach Clarence, what we may need targeting is that they win in three sets. Kung baga gusto niya makasiguro na uh, not to leave any chances anymore. Kasi nga naman, if you go in fourth, minsan may mga sakit at team na pagdating ng fifth set, biglang mawawala. Uh, ito ito yan. Yeah. Ito, mukhang makahihirapan sila gumawa ng three straight sets. Three straight sets. Makakagawa pa makagawa na. It is fired and delivered with help from the block. It goes out to Baguio, connecting on that one. 20, 40. I think you, ang feeling ni Clarence, ano, walang sense of urgency yung kanyang team. Yes. Parang, uh, he's stressing the fact that Guys, this is a very important thing for us. And Hello. That's not, I think it's not how he sees the girls are playing this afternoon. Big major shakeup of his lineup. He has Manzano, Yonko, as well as Wendy Simana already on the floor. Couldn't get anything out of the starters. Manzano. And uh, we all know that uh, Yonko is still nursing a shoulder injury. But so this is actually a risk on their part, uh, uh, you know? And she has that shoulder, as you mentioned, really heavily bandaged or kept in some uh, protection. Keep it warm, keep it snug, and keep it uh, from moving around. I'm wrong. That is Simana taking care of business there. Yun yung sinasabi natin, isa ng floater service kaya nakakaloko eh. Nakala mo outside and then all of a sudden it dips down. Si Nes Pamilar, of course, had coached Wendy to, uh, together with Rachel Andakis with the, uh, with the championship at the end of uh, one season of the UAAP for FPUC. Semana keeps it in play and Jill Gostilo says, bigyan na lang natin ng maayos. Mahala na. Si! Gostilo, pigalo! Oh, good pick up from Yonko. Hindi na ituso ka ng Manzano, malakas. Eto na! Huli si Manzano. Good block there from Manzano. Alam mo, yung reaction ni Manzano, I think yun ang kulang ni Air Force. Sir, enthusiasm. Yes. Yung ano lang, no? Attitude. Attitude. Yeah. Better said. Makinig kayo kay Ines Pamela. Malaking ganyan yan eh. Ness 
seem to have something uh, to say about something above your pitch yeah. rating. Uh, his team has suddenly not scored and he has been hit by four straight points by an Air Force team that seems to be a little more enthusiastic now. Yonko, si Manzano, kasi naka-block si Yonko. Yeah. Kapalo si Manzano, si Mana is there. The captain, as you mentioned, serving. C. Pudo. Uh, Still not alive. You know, Cagayan has been trying to aim for that same spot. And, uh, nakailang puntos na rin ang Cagayan doon. Tama ka. Dalawa kay C. Tapos ngayon, binatasan nito. Ito medyo yung, uh, Campfire nila, huling-huling na sila. 21-17, Chisa Ed is in for the first time. And Joy Benito, this is the familiar substitution pattern of Nes Pamilar of Cagayan. This is of course to get more attackers in the uh, offense at the front line for the Rising Suns. Ah, yung pala ang reason. Parang meron siyang open with Joy. May hinila rin ito sakit pa. Sakit na. Kinulugan! Kinantaya naman! Topic giving uh, Cagayan a dose of their own medicine. Dito nyo ako hinulugan. Nakulugan ko rin kayo dyan. Ano kayo lang? Para alam nyo kung anong pinig. <laughs> alam mo, actually, tama yung puso. Nakakainis. Pag ikaw nabutasan nyo, nakakainis. Oo, oh, oh, nakakainis. Pag ikaw ang gumawa, masaya ka kasi nakainis. Saka pa rin pag ikaw na ganun, naisahan ka. Oo. Oh. Oo, oh, that violation error. Nang Air Force. Air Force, ha? yes. Yung sa palo ni Joy Benita and suddenly nagayang snapping the run of Air Force sa panahon ng tagulan ni Wasan ang Tendin Lion Tiger katulad ng meeting proudly Philippine May Soriano with a serve Oh, oh, over set Oh, good set from Wendy Simana Over receive pala yung kanina Vargas Simana, steady sa likod Manzano Jen Manzano You know, bringing in the points it really matter wala, hindi nakakuha ng dividendo si Clarence sa kanyang starting lineup Dito tayo kukuha sa mga hugot natin. At yun sa ibang teams, mga starters sa mga ito eh. Sa mga collegiate teams. Yes. Well, that's why it's an all-star lineup actually. Nice search. In the air we go. Benito! Semana, nice set. Huli si Gases. Hindi yung uh, ma-block yan, pero pag na-block, re-remated. Longest rally. Passes. Sorry. Good block from Mike Ortiz. Very well read. Hindi niya siya, no? Talaga, yun pala pwede yun. Bantay na bantay. Alright, yun two-handed. Touchdown. 22-20. Magsiserve si Jen Manzano. Siya, hindi naka-bibo eh. Nung maka-score eh. So, yun ang kulang sa... Oh, yung attitude niya, no? Yung... Um, pop ng fish. Oh, yeah. Ang oh. eh. So, sadly, naka-score ng 3 straight points na naman. Ang Air Force, si Ness Pamilar ay makinig naman tayo dun sa kanyang uh, timeout. Okay, and uh, look at this. Ito, oh, oh. yung uh, point na uh, ni-raise mo, yung blocking all of a sudden has become a factor for the Air Force down by one. You heard uh, Sheila Pineda, she said, lamang ko tayo ng isa. How long will that stay or stand? Say it! I need to ahead of the block! Tsagalan. Oh, sa ba? Tsinatsagalan talaga ng Air Force. Oh! And now, four straight points by Air Force that was down in the course of the first set. C is back in. And he might go with them all the way. Yeah, so the substitution did not work for the Lady Rising Sons, but you know, the, the shuffle of players for Air Force 
work very well for you so much. Si Cassis, asar na kay si. Kanina ka pa. Kanina ka pa eh. Cassis? Siya naman ang nanguhulog ng mga ang Air Force. I think Air Force now is able to get the idea kung ano saan pa nila dapat talaga atakin ang uh, Lady Rice. I agree whole you know? lot of So, yes. pinoy daw na kanila ni Coach Clarence. It's a, it, they're a strong defensive team. So, kahit na lakas nila ang lakasan yan, babalik, babalik eh. at babalik yan sa inyo. Para kayo nag-uhulig nyo ang yan. Si Vargas, the blocking is now there for Air Force. They recycle. Tinaas ni Cassis. C will set. That goes through. That goes through. Pagal, bago na kayo score ulit na kagayan. Baka limang puntos na actually ang uh, Air Force. A very tight first set that we have here, 23 all. Ngayon, bumalik na yung chance ng dalawa. Baka straight sets, tingnan natin. Kanina, mukhang diretso na kagaya. Suddenly, nakatulog sa pansitan. Ako, kapakahirap na receive doon. And suddenly, it's set for me. Vargas is trying to control her energy and her strength. That's for my little bit of a moment. Rosemary Vargas, rank number six as a best server here in the conference. Sinigurado. And they have been targeting the events of Air Force, if you notice. Oh, my God. Buhay pa. Buhay pa ang Air Force. Tabla tayo sa 24. That was a good substitution from Coach Clarence. Sila yung humabul eh. Oh, that's right. And now, of course, you're bringing back Judy Caballero at Red Ibaculangan. So, Air Force would have a complete front line up. So, we have three attackers para sa front line itong Air Force. Can they get the job done and clean up what the others had started to do when they played catch up. Here comes C. Uy, alam nga niya. Eh, eh, naging point para kay Marciano. Wala na pupuntahan yun, ha? Yes. Actually, very clear na kung ano nang pag-ihari doon, eh. And we are at the second set point of Cagayan. They had it earlier, 24-23. Let's see if they can close the deal now. Ayo patah pusing ni juga. Kenapa pas kau ingat noy? Pas bakal pilih ni ni ngah. Nanti juga ni nervous nervous time lah. Kamu dah tahu sendiri ke sini second set point. Hah, deliver the ball and that is inside. Good service from Michael Ortiz. And now set point shifts hands to the other side. First set point of Air Force. Hello, hello, hello. And that set point just disappears. So, but the Air Force is so pakapahid ng lahat ng katulogon. But I guess it makes it more exciting, you know? Because kitang-kita mo talaga that they're really head-to-head na walang puso talaga kong patalo. And in the context of all you said at the top of this telecast, Winning the first set is critical. Cassis, who led? Ginawan ng daan! A little miscommunication there at the front line for Air Force. And this is the third set point for Cagayan. I think napansin ko yun on early on here for Air Force. Meron sila mga moments na nagugulat sila eh. Parang they're surprised all of a sudden biglang tumaas yung bola or yung bola biglang tumating doon. Ganun din ba sabi nila? Tinago si Judy. Captain play by Vargas. Marciano. Kept in the air by Balmaceda. Cassis! C! And Cassis! C! Marzo! Manzano! Kapila! Pasang tapos dito. Caballero once again. Regalo! But if you're Air Force, okay, sige, fine. You took the first set, but we're in content. 